Alright guys, we're back for another video. In this one, we're going to continue taking a look at the McFarlane 7 inch line for My Hero Academia. So, in this one, we're having a look at two of the of the main antagonists from the from the anime. We have Tomura Shigaraki and All for One. So I won't dive too deep in for those of you who haven't watched the show. I'll just tell you this. It's a great show, really fun. Highly recommend it. But don't want to give away too many spoilers, so we'll go ahead and just hop right into looking at these figures. So, first thing we'll take a look at is the packaging. You will notice a bit of a difference. Um, all I know is this line's been out for a few years. I honestly couldn't tell you, like, oh, this line came out first, and this is uh, this is just the packaging that I have them in. So, it is a bit different. You'll see here, you've got a bit of, like, a plastic window up at the top as well. A bit bigger on the logo there but continues the theme of having the figures you know face up here the interesting thing here is they went with like the actual action figure space here whereas here it's the animated one so then on the sides uh some difference as well you just have the mcfarland toys you got funimation down here at the bottom and then my hero academia whereas here you have the character's name the back you can see some tears here I'll talk about that here in a bit and then on the side you've got all for one so basically they just moved this to this side here and here you've got the My Hero Academia so as for this um, when I first got these figures that's I, I mentioned it with the All Might this one as well had damaged packaging I didn't really know what was going on. I got them from Target. I don't know if maybe someone was like trying to steal them or I had heard about a trend where people were like damaging other figures so that then they could go resell them, you know, in a nice package, whereas the ones at Target were ruined. I don't know if someone actually went to those extremes. All I know is that um, when I pointed it out, the, the Target employee did, you know, let me make sure that everything was in the packaging and they offered a slight discount. Um, honestly, I would have liked to have the package like pristine and nicely, but you know, th this is fine as well. So, um, and then here on the back, you see the other figures that are is this guy's line. Whereas this one is just showing you all for one. I'll tell you this just off holding them to each other this guy is like so light weighs nothing and this guy i mean the massive arm is probably most of his weight but he, he's a heavy one okay so um why don't we go ahead and pop these open and take a closer look at the figures all right so now that we've got them out of the packaging let's go ahead and take a closer look so we'll go ahead and start with shigaraki he does come with these two hands as well, if you want to just swap them out. You simply pull the hand out from the wrist joint there, and then the peg will go right through there. But I'm going to go ahead and leave them with the ones that he came with, just because I like how they look. So, they really nailed the look for him. He's a, if you've watched the show, he's like a tall, lanky-ish type of guy, so they really nailed the build here on him. The details pretty spot on i mean he doesn't have much going on he's always wearing all black at least in the early seasons um you've got you know some basic plain red shoes there for him he has the hands of course like the stony hands that are all over his body he's got that down perfectly on him uh, he has his hands and kind of look I, I wanted to keep these because it looks like he's reaching over as he does on the show, trying to touch someone to use his quirk. Um, but yeah, the the one, the biggest thing really for him will be that, you know, from here you can't really tell. And in the show he has this covering his face, so it's not, you know, too noticeable. But if you look underneath here, he has no facial features, no you know, molding or printing or anything, nothing done under there. So, I mean, 
it's fine because you can't really notice it. But if you're taking a look at them, I mean, it would have been nice for them to give us something, you know. Uh, in the show, you'll see a bit of his, like, creepy, you know, grin or mouth. His, he's got, like, these really crazy-looking eyes. So maybe if they would have given us some of that here. Um, but really nothing at all. So it still looks good, but just something that's kind of, you know, missing out there. So, yeah, other than that, though, the look is pretty, pretty cool. Looks pretty good. Um, as far as articulation goes, um, the ankles, a bit up and down. This one's a bit tight, but yeah, you've got the up and down, a bit of the side to side. Honestly, they're so skinny, I'm, like, scared to twist them all the way around because they might snap. As far as the knees go, you've got... That double jointed knee. It's bending pretty easily on him, which is good. Um, nothing at the torso. He is like hunched over. So you you can't actively see it in him. He does have a bit of a like articulation there, but it's under the shirt, which leaves him like looking hunched over as he usually is. So you, you, you can't actively really like bend them forward but it is there you can feel it under the shirt um because the shirt kind of hangs down like this too and then you've got his bottom there you're not really going to go much like back on the leg which is good helps hold him up um you can do the splits if you needed to i guess the arms go all the way around Got that double jointed elbow there, which is fine. And then the head will go all the way around and up and down, but really you don't want it to go up because then the, the missing facial features is a lot more noticeable. So best to keep it down. You could have them holding that hand and then reaching this one out trying to grab someone. So it looks it looks really nice. I love the look on him. And then we'll see if we could get him to stand. There he is. Okay. So on to the next one. We have all for one. I've got him on the stand. He's not gonna you know, he he can't stay standing without it. Um the giant arm is too heavy, too massive. He just tips right over. But we'll, we'll take them off temporarily just so that we can take a look at the figure. And the detail, again, looks pretty good. I don't want to dive too much into what's going on here with the arm. But you can see the other arms in there. The stone, the spikes, a bit of that detail. I don't want to give any spoilers away. But just trust me when I say this, it looks pretty accurate to the show. Um, even this, you might think like, oh, they didn't even give him eyes or they, you know, skimped out on the facial features on him too. No, this this is accurate here. So this looks pretty good. The, the suit looks nice on him. Yeah, it looks pretty accurate. I know there is like a chase version as well where he has the two regular arms and then the fully enclosed mask. Uh, so I'd hope to get that one day. But for now, th this looks just as, you know, will look cool on the display as well. It looks really fun. Um, as far as like articulation goes, you do have the bend at the knee, the double joint, but it, it's kind of stiff, so I don't want to mess with it too much. Especially since he relies so much on his legs to hold up the weight. Um, the ankles, there's, there's not really much there because of the boot cut there on the pants. Yeah, you can't even go like side to side or up and down. Which honestly, in this case again, because of how heavy this side of his body is, the less articulation might be better just so that he's not as flimsy. Um, you do have a bit there at the, the waist, as you can see. Legs go out a bit. But honestly, he's 
I mean, he's going to be more of a display piece. Not going to really move him around too much. So, he'll be fine with that. Let's see if we could get him to stay standing again. Looks like looks like he's going to cooperate, hopefully. Uh, so, yeah. And then here you have, you know, the side-by-sides side up next to uh, All Might. And then we've got Endeavor here, who has a really nice build to him as well. You've got Lemillion. So this this seven inch line looks great. You know, glad to have these guys out of the box now. Can't wait to throw them up on the shelf. Um, I think for the next videos, I'll take a look at some of the five inch line. But for now, let me know in the comments what did you think about these two. Are you a fan of the show? Are you a fan of the villains of the show? And if so, who's your favorite villain? Um, but yeah, that'll be all for today. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.